everyone everyone welcome back thank you guys for joining me once again wherever you're at in the world it's a beautiful fall day here over in the states so i'm enjoying this weather hopefully you guys are enjoying the fall weather wherever the fall weather is in your states or countries because i know fall is different the weather is different for different people so wherever you're at hope you guys are enjoying and staying in tune and just raising that vibration man and staying staying as positive as you guys can be um, I wanted to jump on here today's video and talk to you guys about your false intuition versus your real intuition because this is such a big topic that I think people don't really understand and get misconstrued but before we jump into the video I want to let you guys know that I did pick we I picked winners um, Anita Miss BB and Carrie contact me so we can set something up whether it's a one-on-one -on -one session or email session or if you guys want to get my manifest specific person EFT course either or um, just contact me or I may contact you guys if you don't see this because you guys are the winners for the contest that I was doing with people liking commenting and subscribing to the channel so guys thank you so much for continuing to like and subscribe and to comment on the videos and I will always continue to pick winners and do different giveaways. I'm gonna start getting creative. I'm gonna just start giving out, giving away random stuff, giving away things like maybe money, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys, make sure you stay locked in. Stay locked in and continue to like, subscribe, and comment on the videos below because I'm all, this is something I'm gonna always do as a way of me giving back so much appreciation and love for you guys. So thank you so much. Um, now, today's video, intuition, your false intuition versus your true intuition. These are two different things that I don't think people really understand. And I want you guys to really understand this because I think so many of you are being extremely naive with the law of attraction. And you think just because you believe in or assumption, because I know some of you guys are big rift on, oh, it's not a, it's not attraction, it's assumption. And it's this and that, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Bottom line is, I think so many people are being extremely naive when it comes to this manifesting stuff, this manifesting world, whether it's law of assumption, law of attraction, whatever you want to call it. And the reason I say you guys are being naive is because you guys are thinking and acting with the old intuition, but you're, you expect to get new results, if that makes sense. And it just doesn't work that way. You can't be thinking and using your old intuition because I've seen this happen with people when people say, you know, Oh, I felt I felt like this might have been the right person and I felt like this might have been the right guy or this might have been the right woman but understand if you're thinking of that from your old intuition you're going to get terrible results even if you do believe in you know even if you are practicing law of attraction da, 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 da. because so many people they just think that oh because I'm doing LOA now or I'm practicing law of assumption I'm practicing Neville's work or Abraham Hicks work everything is going to be peachy and all roses but that's not the reality because you guys have 20 plus years 30 plus years or however many years of undoing you have to undo before you actually get the results that you want so don't think it's going to happen overnight can it happen overnight for some people absolutely but it, it that it that differs everything is different that's why i always preach to you guys there's no such thing as there's there's no one size fits all to this loa stuff there's no one size fits all because everyone's different it may take someone a week for it to click it may take someone um, a month for it to click. It may take someone a year for it to click. We're all different. Now, understand your old intuition is the way you used to think, the way you used to act. People make intuitive decisions based on their traumas, based on toxicity, based on familiarity. So even if you're doing better, or you want to do better rather, and someone else comes along that fits the narrative of what you're used to being toxicity, drama, um, just whatever, anything negative, intuitively, you're going to say to yourself, wow, that's the person I'm supposed to be with. That's my, that's my guy. That's my boyfriend or that's my girlfriend. But in all actuality, that's not who you're supposed to be with because that, intu that intuitive nature is based off of the old you. That's based off what's familiar to you. That's based off pain. That's based off of hurt, regret, all of those negative vibrations. That's what that, those, that decision-making process is based off of. So understand that when you want to manifest 
something new, you have to get out of the old intuitive person that you were and you have to step into the new intuitive person that, you're, that you want to be, that you are. You have to stop making decisions based on your old intuition, your false intuition. Because like I said, your false intuition is, is, the, is you are familiar with the pain. So anything that feels comfortable to you, if pain and toxicity, et cetera, feels comfortable to you, you think your false intuition is pulling you that way because that's what you're used to. So in order to get rid of that false intuition, you have to really 100% heal, heal whatever you've gone through, heal your past, understand that your old way of thinking, the old people you used to deal with, all of that stuff has to die in order for you to get in tune with your new intuition. Because understand this about your true intuition versus your false intuition. Your true intuition, intuition is very soft. It's subtle, it's not loud. You feel it, you know, it speaks to you quietly. Your old intuition, your false intuition, your ego, that's all ego-based, it's, it's mind-based. If you ever find yourself mulling about something over and over and over again, understand that you are thinking about that over and over again, that's not your intuition. That's not your real true intuition. That's your false intuition. That's your mind. And that's what you got. I want you guys to, to separate, be able to separate your mind from your intuition, your mind from your heart, because essentially that's what this boils down to. It's a battle between your mind and your heart, basically. And when a person can get their mind and their heart on one accord, also known as brain heart coherence, for those that like the science of understanding how this manifestation stuff works, when a person can have their brain and their heart on one, accord, on one accord, that's when you have the whole world in your fucking palm. That's when you have the whole world because there is no distraction. A lot of you guys think like, oh, that's your intuition because you keep thinking the same thoughts or having the same thoughts or having the same feelings. No, that doesn't mean that's your intuition speaking to you. Your, your real intuition, that's your false intuition speaking to you. Understand when you're going back and forth in your mind about something, that's not your intuition. Your intuition is decisive. Your intuition is concise. It knows. It knows what it wants. It knows the answer. So you guys have to get rid of this idea that, you oh, you are listening to your intuition because you're studying LOA now. No, understand you got to let that old way of thinking die. You got to let that those old intuitive thoughts die because you can make the wrong, you can believe in LOA all you want, but you can continue to make the wrong decisions because you're listening to the old intuitive thoughts of yourself. You're not listening to the new intuition. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is easy. Love is real. Love is spiritual. And you can feel that. And someone that's hurt, someone that's hurting and hasn't healed themselves, love doesn't feel the way that I just said to them, that I just mentioned. Love doesn't feel that way because they're not used to it. They're intuitively used to love feeling like pain, feeling like drama, feeling like toxicity. That's what they know. So when a person like that comes around, their in old intuition is going to say, oh, that's for me. That person is for me. But no, they're not for you. You think they're for you because that's what you're used to. That's what your old intuition says. That's what your false intuition says. That's what your mind says. That's what your ego says. That's what you deserve. You don't deserve that. You deserve the new intuition. You deserve the new spirit. And that's why I want you guys to understand you have to, have to, have to step into that power, that knowing. Step into that new I amness to get rid of the false intuition so you can make peace with the new intuition so when something shows up that's actually healthy for you you don't destroy it because you're still listening to your old intuition because so many people they think they're listening to their intuition their new intuition or their true intuition but they're not they're listening to their old intuition these are two different things man what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to practice this next time you have a decision you have to make anything in your life doesn't matter what it is a specific person money uh family members friends whatever I want you guys to get in a relaxed state. Take a couple minutes, take some really, really serious deep breaths, get in a relaxed state. Um, take five minutes if you need to, get in a relaxed state. Then I want you to put your hand on your heart center. 
I want you to put your hand on your heart center. And whatever answer you want, I want you to ask yourself that question while your hand is on your heart center. Ask yourself the question about what it is that you want. And you will literally feel, your heart knows the answer before you even get the question out a lot of times. Your heart knows the answer. And that feeling that you have right there, that's how you know what's real. Start making decisions based on your true intuition, not your old intuition. You guys gotta stop being naive. Stop being naive and thinking, oh, everything's just gonna go smooth sailing or everything is gonna be this and that. Knowing when you guys haven't done the work, knowing when you know that you're not in tune with your self-concept of your self-love or your self-I am-ness. Understand all of these things. Because if you don't, you're gonna keep making the same mistake and then you're gonna say, oh, LOA or manifestation or whatever doesn't work for me. No, it works for everybody. But the question is, is are you making decisions based off of your old intuition, intuitive thoughts based on toxicity and drama, or are you making decisions based on your, your real true intuition, what you really want, what you really need, which is based in love, which is based in faith, which is based in trust. And like I said, you gotta heal that. You gotta heal, you gotta die to the old self. You have to. You gotta die to the old intuitive person that you used to be. Die to those old thoughts, die to the, to the familiarity of whatever it is that you were going through so you can stop making those terrible decisions based off of that familiarity. Because people attract what they know. Toxic people attract toxic people because that's what they know. It's what they know, it's who they are. So in order to attract non-toxicity, you have to become new. You have to step into that new light, that new intuition, that new love, et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys, I hope this video really, really spoke volumes to you guys to understand that listen to your new self, your new intuition, that new you. Don't listen to the old you. The new you is not going to make those types of decisions. The new you is not going to keep dealing with toxic men. The new you is not going to keep dealing with toxic women. The new you is not going to keep dealing with toxic anything. Step into your new intuition. Understand your intuition is light. It's soft. It's subtle. Ego is loud. Ego is bravado. Your real intuition, real spirit, it's not like that. Don't go back and forth with yourself in your head because that's not your intuition. Your intuition knows the answer. Your true intuition knows the answer. All right, guys. I just wanted to jump right here and give you some tough love from the States, wherever you're at. Thank you guys for joining once again. You already know, Marv's Room.